So, this might be a little bit of a controversial video. Welcome back to the channel, guys. Hope you guys are having a good day. Today, we're going to be playing and talking about early game helicopter play. I mean, the game, the Tank RB game starts and you spawn in a helicopter. I will bet top dollar, a top 100 Monopoly dollar, that the consensus throughout War Thunder is that if you bring a helicopter for your spur your purse, your first spawn in Tank RB, you're doing your team a disservice. And I will agree on that if you take out a helicopter and you head for the enemy spawn and you you die without really doing anything. At the same time, that guy doing that might get a kill. And at the same time, that guy might get enough Hydra hits to be able to spawn in his XM1 tank or 100 SP backup. But that's beside the point. If you do it like that, you're not really utilizing the helicopter's ability as well as you could. And that's where the butt comes in. I will 100% agree that that's not the way to do it. I would not want to see that. I don't like when other players do that just because they don't make the best use of their helicopter. And sometimes they fail in getting those SP points to spawn in a competitive tank at 9.0. The other way is what we're going to be doing today. And that entails spotting, maybe using the pixelated mini map. That's just like... Uh, throwing a needle into a haystack, very hard to pinpoint enemy location, but you still are able to relay some sort of information to your team. So you have that ability to scout. You also have long range Hydra engagements and you don't necessarily have to hit direct hit to be able for them to show up on the mini map and playing like that will give your team an advantage of knowing where enemy players might be at, at the same time. In a close quarter map, it really doesn't matter too much if you spot or not. Mainly on the bigger maps, it's going to come into play of revealing enemy camping locations. Now, how we're going to be flying the helicopter. Listen, you can fly your helicopter any way you want to. But from my experience, the only way to do it and be successful while avoiding as much enemy or potential accurate enemy shots is to fly high. The low-level flying and popping out from cover doesn't work. And that's mainly just because of how loud helicopters are. People know exactly or just the area where you're going to be. So what we're going to be doing is taking out their ability to shoot us. And that's by being above their gun arc as much as possible while not being too in to the battle area. The biggest thing, though, that early game or using this strategy early game is distraction. It blows my mind. And now at the same time, I know why they do it. But at the beginning of a game, in midway through the beginning of the game, a lot of players aren't looking at the ground. A lot of players aren't looking for other enemy tanks. They're trying to deal with that pesky helicopter that fired Hydras at, you know, a kilometer and a half away. And while doing this, they're not... Sometimes they're not moving. Sometimes they're stationary firing at ATGM. Sometimes they're firing every single gun they have. And what that does is it reveals their position. It gives visual cues for the dust or the gun, gun debris, as well as their secondaries are pinpointing their position exactly. And so that gives your team a huge advantage early game of understanding where majority of the forces is, what we can expect, how many Leopard 2K KPZs they have, how many 2A4s they have. You can just tell by the machine gun type or how many T64s, T80s they have just by the machine gun color, etc. And with this strategy, you not only distract them, but you delay them. And then they also give away their position. And sure, you don't really earn any SP or RP from that, but you're going to see uh, your team killing a lot of enemies early game quick. Now, a disclaimer, huge disclaimer, and hopefully people have made it this far in the video before their keyboards are on fire. This strategy has to be used with discretion. You can't just spawn into a game and just press enter and go willy nilly. If there's two other choppers early game, go in your tank first. If there's one other chopper early game, Maybe you can do it. You got to see what players are using early game because you don't want five early game choppers. That's not going to win you the game. That's not going to bring you that type of strategy for or 
a success of that strategy. It's going to hinder your team. When you spawn in and you want to try this, you want to see what everyone else is playing. Maybe you wait 20 seconds after the game has started to see if it's viable. If there's people already doing it, get in your tank. Because if you don't obey those rules, your team will falter extremely quick. One or two of these up early game are fine. Three or four, you're, you're going to lose that ground battle or have a much higher chance of losing that ground battle. That is it. Don't, I can't stress this enough. You have to make sure what your teammates are using. The chopper that we're going to be using today is the Huey, the UH-1C XM30. And the primary reason that we're going to be using this chopper is, well, it's a Huey. No, I'm just kidding. I just like the Huey the most. It's just more iconic. But, you know, more detailed reasons why. One, you can see what you're firing at without using the virtual HUD. You can see the chopper and you can zoom in and see your Hydra or your rocket reticle. Two, it doesn't have that much power. Not in, you know, the performance of it, but killing power. And that helps you with this strategy because you don't get a hothead. You don't go in there with, good gosh, 70, I don't know how many rockets this thing can have, 76 Hydras, and you get caught up in your own misery. This gives us, these 38 Hydra rockets gives us enough to do our business without getting too involved in the action. Also, it just flies better. Not like performance-wise, it stays coordinated more. For whatever reason, just has a better flight model, in my opinion. So uh, we're going to be using this. Also, guys, today I am streaming, streaming, streaming at 5 p.m. EST. Links in the description below if you guys want to hang out today. Without further ado, let's do it. I don't know. Like, wouldn't you think like a, a, a chopper pilot going into combat would have a little bit more detailed map? Maybe this is just the soft balancing. Oh, it's actually going to be an MI-24. And he's already going straight into the, the battle. He's going to die pretty quickly. He got a kill. Suicide, but he got a kill. And now he can spawn in a tank. Okay, looking down this road, I see a freaking pink tank. We're going to get ready here. Let's keep climbing a little bit. Let's swing her around. This is what I'm looking at right now. Uh, pink tank right here. Okay, we're going to start spotting. These. It really doesn't matter if we spot these guys too much because there's really no teammates over here. And we're out. Two criticals, two tanks stationary. And as you can see, we already have our XM1. Gosh, one's burning up too. Yeah. We'll do a little spot there. Cancel it out. There we go. Last bit of rockets. Okay, some more spots right there. And we're going to be degressing out of the battlefield. Let's let's go, Huey. There we go. And oh my gosh, all of them are almost dead. There's one more at that corner. And that guy, guys, the game is already over. That whole push that they had was was just destroyed. I guess we can try to re, uh, land and rearm, but I don't think it's really going to matter. Actually, it could. A actually, wow, we're actually number one on the leaderboard. Look at that. But the thing is, right now, we have them spawn trapped. At least our team's going to be doing that. Let's try to make this as quick as possible. We don't need to make it pretty. It's as quick as possible. Come on. Okay, start balancing out. Okay, collective. Collective, collective. Okay. 
Now, a tip, a very crucial tip, is don't use your collective at 100% when you're trying to spool the engine up. What that will do is that it will make the blades try to grab more air and put more strain on the engine, which is going to slow your RPM build. I'll demonstrate this at around 25%. So as you can see, we kind of have a tempo. Well, it's, it's always increasing, but six, seven. We'll wait till it's a little bit higher. 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24. Full collective. Not good. Slows you down way too much. Keep that collective at zero. It will help your... Um, Re-engagement times. All right, and we're going, and we're going. Let's get moving. Still a lot of enemy play players up. I think they're just getting batted at their spawn, but still, there are some killing opportunities for us. We actually have lost a lot of players. What, what's happening? Jeez, there's someone right here. Are you serious? Okay, T-64 destroyed. We might have a Gepard up. I don't know, but we're disengaging. Yeah, that's going to be a KPZ. Those things are actually pretty... E uh, unfortunate right there. Chopper's out of the action. Those are kind of a chopper's bane. That was a really nice shot on his part. But look at him. He's just... He's not even playing the objective anymore. He's just playing kill... Kill helicopter. And now we can spawn in our XM1 and clean up whatever's, whatever's left. He's engaging from the backside. Maybe we can get him through here. Where are those 20 mils at? It's not even going to matter. It's GG. Fantastic. This one's going to be pretty interesting. We pretty much spawn looking at the enemy tank spawn, as you can see here. Well, right here. Oh, my God. Should we just launch? Launch in there? I can't. They, they don't even show up for me. Okay, there they are. I bet I bet I could launch one in there right now and just get a spot. Oh, we got a critical. That's fucked up. That's how you get reported for hacking. Okay, uh, I think I aggroed the enemy. The enemies are mad. Yep, yep, yep. I don't blame you. We're going to try to maneuver over to our friendlies here. Watch out for any ATGMs incoming. a little more altitude here. Yep, I got them all mad. They're all over at Charlie, fellas. Well, we already have enough for X and 1. <laughs> Let's actually balance out here. I can get a really nice barrage in there. They haven't popped smoke yet. Really good hits early. Two criticals. A lot of aggro on me. We got to watch out for ATGMs. The, T the T-64s will, will snap you in a second. Now that is going to be... Jeez, those were close. I think that's the, that's the Coelian we spotted earlier. Ooh, come on, get that engine. We got eight rockets left. That guy hates us, man. I don't know if you guys have been watching the uh, the kill feed, but the enemies are just giving away their positions right now. There goes that guy that we were finding out earlier. Just, just a little bit too high. Early game rearm. Let's get there. 
Oh yeah, they are. God, that that guy is getting, is getting a little bit too close for comfort. One of those hits me. I'm fruit. Okay, emergency landing. Oh, okay. There it finally comes. Now, hopefully, they can't hit me in my base. Okay, down we go. No more ATGMs. Yep. A ATGM incoming. Oh, Lord. I don't know if I really did anything to save myself there. But hopefully, they can't ATGM in here, right? War Thunder wouldn't allow that to happen. Okay, a little more collected, a little more back. And we're going to have a nice landing. I use air quotes, nice. We're going to see if we can spot this. Uh, God, he's not even rendered on the map for us. Never mind. That XM1. I don't know if our call was accurate or not, but he got him. He's got, a, he's got another guy over here, though. Let's send it. He's not dead yet. He's dead now. It's a 2k, which are actually kind of easy to kill. Our rounds just spliced. There he goes. And he's dead. Good distraction right there. Good spot. Okay, we got two guys trying to camp this area out. We're going to launch him. He's a type 90. The funny thing is we already have our X in one. <laughs> like, you don't need many Hydra shots to even... There we go. Well... I guess we got a kill, a kill assist as well. Another kill assist. Well, wow, those guys, those two guys are dead. One guy up there. Okay, where did this guy call in? Okay, backside of Alpha. I don't see him, dude. I don't see him. I don't see him. Okay, I see him now. He's, he's shooting at me. Wonderful. Let's get above his gun. Okay, we're above his gun now. Come on, get out of here, get out of here. Whew. Found him, guys! Let's keep changing our pitch and altitude. Okay, and we'll try to get above their gun again. Now, the thing that we have to worry about is the Gepard spawning up. The Huey's on that leopard who's engaging me. Okay, that guy's getting handled. This guy is getting engaged by this Huey. Come on, get him, dude. Oh, he's got the 30 mils. I don't know how much pen they have. Who's this right here? Don't really want to go after him. Rather go after a Leo. Okay, 10 rockets left. Beautiful hit. Up we go. Now we got a T60 something over here. Too high on the shot. Gosh darn it. We were ballooning at the last second. But our tanks kind of have a beat on where he's at. Should have marked him when we hydrated him. Okay, let's use this Abrams as a uh, anchor point. Oh, he's got him now. Wow! It just seems like, you know, 
tank shooting at a helicopter that sure could really do some damage if you don't pay attention to him but giving him giving that position away not looking at whoa okay we got an enemy tank over here don't have really any means to mark him what where and what was that Okay, we got a T-64. Let's use this guy as an anchor point, and let's put him... Is he heading... We get, we have a stationary guy we need to look for. Mm. We're just going to get right on top of him and call him out. There he goes. Beautiful. And with that said, we'll land, try to land on one of these uh, castle towers. That was probably the best thing we could have had right there. Again, please use this strategy with discretion. Make sure there's not other helicopters up. Make sure the map suits your play style well. And uh, make sure you get those spots off early game for your team. Helps them out a ton. The distraction is just so... It, you, you can't really calculate how much it affects the battle. But just imagine four or five enemy tanks not looking at the ground. That's what does it in for them. As well as the American Zerg Rush. But guys, again, hope you have enjoyed. Have a great day. Peace out.